And God has a word for us today. We're going to turn to the book of Galatians. Written by the Apostle Paul. And in chapter 3. Verse 24. So he says here, the law was our schoolmaster to bring us to Christ. That we might be justified by faith. The law was a schoolmaster. That means it was teaching us something. What was the law teaching us? It was teaching us righteousness. It was teaching us holiness. But you see, you cannot legislate for holiness. In other words, you can't make a law that will make people holy. Holiness is what we are. Holiness is something that has been worked into our whole being. But the law of God, which was the covenant that God made with Israel. And he said to them, if you will obey my voice and the things that I have asked you to do, I will make you a nation of priests in other words, Israel was to be the priesthood for the world. But they never made it. They never became that. Today, God is looking at a people. He said, I want to raise you up in holiness and in righteousness to become a priesthood that will be the priest to the nations of the world. Are you hearing this? This is your responsibility to God. So in verse, the next verse, verse 25, But after faith has come to us, there's no more need for the law. As a matter of fact, the law ended with Christ. That was the end of the era of the law. So up until that time, the people were responsible to keep the law. But Israel couldn't do it. Israel failed in keeping the law. They kept on breaking the law. So God said, then you will not become the nation of priests. Faith never came to Israel. So therefore, they never became a holy nation. They never became a royal priesthood. I want to tell you today, the priesthood of this era, the priesthood of today, is not the priesthood of Aaron. 
As functioned under Israel. Today, God is setting up a new priesthood. It is after the order of Melchizedek. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! That's a higher priesthood. That is a priesthood that also produces the kings of the earth. Today, God is calling every one of you to be a priest unto God, to be a king unto the Lord. In the first epistle of Peter, and chapter 2, the Apostle Paul says in verse 9 you are a chosen generation did you hear that he's talking to you you are a chosen generation you are a royal priesthood He's not talking to somebody else. He's talking to you today. Can you hear this? God is calling you to become the king priest unto God. The nations of the world are waiting for you. They're waiting for that priesthood so that they can come to know God. This is important for us today. So it says here that you should show forth the praises of him. Verse 9. Verse 9. Who has called you out of darkness into light? This is our vocation in God. This is your responsibility toward God. But you see, there is an issue here. We're going to turn to Galatians chapter 4 now, verse 1. Because this is the issue that we are facing today. God is calling a nation of priests. He's calling a nation that will become kings on the earth. But now the Apostle Paul says, chapter 4 and verse 1 of Galatians, the heir, as long as he is a child, is no different from a slave. So, Today, if you want to be part of that priesthood, if in your heart you want to become one of those kings on the earth, then he's telling you, if you're a child, then you will not inherit from God. The power of God that is available to the kings and priests of God is not going to be given to children. The word children there means a little child. You say, well, we're not little children, we are adults. But the, the apostle is speaking today spiritually. You may be an adult in years, 
But you might be a child in the spirit. You understand? Amen. 